Today I will demonstrate how to set up and use Air Pro 3. The controller consists of a handle and handwheel. Handwheel and handle can be disassembled and used separately. The handwheel is the core part of the controller, integrating wireless transmission, display and three-way control. The handwheel comes with three control parts, and corresponding function setting buttons. Install the battery into the battery compartment, and make sure the battery is fully into the battery compartment. Press the battery first, and push the battery out. Adjust the distance between the handle and the handwheel. Adjust the rotation angle of the handwheel. Finally, tighten the nut. The motor is divided into the receiver motor and the slave motor. The receiver motor is slightly thicker than the slave motor. The torque is also higher than the slave motor. Lens is suitable for long stroke and high damping. The receiving motor has an antenna interface and a display, but the slave motor does not. Other parts such as rod clips, gears, sockets and buttons function exactly the same. Mount the motor to 15 or 19 mm rod. Align the gears and tighten the nuts. Mounting the antenna for the receiver motor. When using single channel, install the power cable to the socket of the receiver motor, and the power supply with P or B socket respectively. After the motor is powered on, it will automatically start. When using multiple channels, Connect the receiver motor and the slave motor together with the drive cable first. Lastly, install the power cable. Press and hold the red button of the controller for 3 seconds to turn on the controller. Short press the red button to activate the signal channel adjustment function. After the signal channel flashes, continue to short press to switch the signal channel. Same goes for the receiver motor. Short press the motor button once to activate the signal channel adjustment function. Continue to short press to switch the signal channel. When the signal channels at both ends are consistent, the signal bar will be displayed. If there is no adjustment within 5 seconds of the signal channel flashing, it will stop flashing. Both screens show the same data. Set the light on the controller control part, and the motor light to be the same color. Let them in the same control channel. Red, green and blue indicators correspond to focus, zoom and iris respectively. Short press the setting button corresponding to the control part twice, to cycle switch the color of the indicator light of this control part. Same goes for the receiver motor. Short press the motor button twice, to cycle switch the three indicator color of, red, green, blue. Short press three times to cycle switch the three indicator colors of yellow, cyan, purple. Short press the zoom or iris button of the controller three times, the color of the lights of zoom and iris can be switched. Long press any button of focus or iris or zoom on the controller for 3 seconds. All motors automatically calibrate the lens. After the motor stops completely, the corresponding motor can be controlled through each control part of the controller. Long press the motor button for 3 seconds, the lens where this motor is located can be calibrated individually.
After the motor stops completely, the corresponding motor can be controlled through each control part of the controller. After the motor starts, in the state of uncalibrated lens, first turn the lens in one direction to the limit at one end, wait 0.5 seconds, then turn the lens in the other direction to the limit at the other end, wait 0.5 seconds again, finally turn the lens slightly middle a little bit, complete manual calibration. Manual calibration is ideal for lenses without hard stops, can be calibrated with reference to the start and end positions on the lens ring. After the motor stops completely, the corresponding motor can be controlled through each control part of the controller. The flashing frequency of the indicator lights of the controller and motor display its current control speed and rotation speed respectively. The indicator light is always on, which means slow speed. The indicator light blinking slowly, which means medium speed. The indicator light blinking fast, which means fastest speed. Short press the motor button 5 times to switch the motor rotation speed in a cycle. Short press the zoom and iris buttons of the controller for 5 times to switch the control speed of the control parts in a cycle. The hand wheel defaults to the fastest control speed, so the indicator light is always on by default, and cannot be adjusted. Short press the corresponding function setting button of the controller 7 times to switch the rotation direction of the motor corresponding to the control part. You can also short press the motor button 7 times to switch the rotation direction of the motor. Short press the function button of the control part of the controller for the first time to set the point A. Short press this button for the second time to set the point B. At this time, the motor stroke will be limited between point A and point B and the control channel indicator light displaying the current channel color and white flashing alternately. Short press this button for the third time to cancel the stroke limit of point AB. Return to full stroke control.